Ah oh, shit, new weekly series coming to the channel. Yes, lads! My game week predictions from the first one this week all the way to the end of the season. So make sure if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Gonna waste no more time, lads. Gonna jump right into the first fixture. First game of the season. Lads, hit that like button if you're just excited as me. Fulham versus Arsenal. On paper, should be an easy one this one, true? We've got Fulham, newly promoted club against a side in the Premier League who didn't have the best of seasons last season. I just think though, Arsenal's got too much quality, true? Let's look at the two squads here, all right? And as well, I have you know, Fulham have lost their last 10 London derbies in a row. That's concerning in itself. But besides all that though, I think the quality Arsenal have, Arteta's men are gonna to be too strong for Scotty Parker's Fulham. I think Aubameyang's gonna get a brace and uh, Arsenal are gonna come away with three points. Right, next game, we've got Crystal Palace at home to Selhurst Park against Southampton. Look, game week one fixtures are hard because there's no form to go off, all right? Now, if you've seen my predictions video last night, uh, I said Palace are going to struggle this season. I think Southampton will kick on. And for that reason, I'm going to go with Southampton to get all three points. I think Danny Ings is in for a big one this season. He'll be going to the Euros, I reckon. And I think Palace are just going to struggle this year. And it's going to start from the very first game week. And we've got the game I'm looking forward to most this game week. And that is Liverpool against Leeds. Yes, at Anfield, the champions of the Premier League are taking on the champions of the championship. Wow, that's a tongue twister. But yeah, I just think this game, it's gonna be tough for Liverpool, you know? I think Bielsa's men are gonna work very, very, very hard. But I think the cream is gonna to rise to the top. I think Liverpool are gonna get all three points in this one. I just think Jurgen Klopp's men, they've had a bit of a hangover. Look. Mate, they've won the Champions League in the last two seasons, along with the Premier League and the Club World Cup. You know, I just, I don't know if the hunger's gonna be there throughout the whole season, but this particular game week, I think they're gonna be up for it. And I think Mo Salah is gonna get another goal in the opening game week. And uh, yeah, Liverpool are gonna be all too much for Bielsa's men. And we got West Ham against Newcastle. I think this one's gonna be a scrappy one. I think this one's gonna be dirty. A lot of naughty challenges. We've got two clubs in similar positions, battling it out not to get relegated. Uh, this one I think is gonna be a tricky one for West Ham. I don't think they're gonna have a good season. Um, but I think Newcastle are gonna struggle too, which is why I reckon it's gonna be a scrappy one. Look, I'm gonna predict a draw. I think I can easily see one of these two nicking it. But ultimately, I just think it's going to be scrappy and they're just going to cancel each other out. But uh, I'm going to predict that maximum to get on the score sheet. And then we got newly promoted West Brom taking on Leicester. Again, on paper, this one's pretty easy. A team from the championship, a team who were pretty much top three all season last year. Should be an easy one. I think Leicester are going to get all three points. I just think with no fans... Uh, being allowed at the games is critical for this one because I imagine if the fans were allowed the Hawthorns would be rocking and I reckon they could push West Brom to get a point from this game but with no fans I just think the class less they have are just going to be too much for West Brom but uh, yeah Brendan Rodgers and Leicester will be picking up three points. I told a lie before. I said the game I was most looking forward to this weekend was Liverpool against Leeds. I lied. It's this one here. It's Tottenham against Everton. Jose Mourinho against Ancelotti. I'm keen to see how this one goes down. I think, oh, look, Everton have had a great offseason. I think they've signed well, but it's delivering on their pitch. Now, Ancelotti's first season, look, Oh, there's no form to go off. Ancelotti's first full season, I can see them doing well. If you, again, if you see my predictions video, I reckon Everton are going to have a good season. And in this one, I'm going to predict, uh, I think Everton are going to nick a draw. A 3-3 draw in that. I'm predicting goals. Left, right, centre. Sun's going to get a brace. Fantasy tip. You heard it here first. Right, next game, we've got Sheffield against Wolves. Again, there's no form to really go off. 
<sighs> Sheffield had a really good season last season, so did Wolves. I'm just going to say this one's going to end in a draw. I think momentum going to continue a little bit for Sheffield. I'm judging that result of nothing to do with stats. Head to head, they've only played each other twice, so there's nothing really to go up. It's just what my heart is telling me. And then it's down to the last game of the game week. We got Brighton at home to Chelsea. Now, I think Frank Lampard wants to make amends from his first game of the season last year when they got thrashed by United 4-0. I think he's gonna wanna do some thrashing himself. So for that reason on its own, I think Chelsea are gonna thrash Brighton 3-0. I think it could get messy as well. Again, no really stats to back that up head to head. They've only played each other six times. Chelsea getting five results, the other result being a draw. Yeah, Chelsea definitely are gonna win this one comfortably. There we go, lads. They're my predictions for the first game week of the season. Which ones did I get horribly right? Which were horribly right? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that one in here. Which ones did I get horribly wrong? And which ones did I get right? Compare ourselves, me to you. Let me know, get in the comments down below. If you like this and you're keen for more uh, predictions coming up next week, hit that like button. If you want more Premier League content, hit the subscribe button. Anyways, until the next video, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and puts.